To start a build of the Falcon Sun 1, we will need to download the ST files from an online platform like Printables, Thingiverse, or Cults 3D. Then we will open the files in Ultimate Kirkura, which is the slicer that we are going to use. As we can see, I have already set up a custom printing profile. This allows me to slice each part with the same settings. I would suggest you follow the same settings as I did, as each individual parameter really affects the final quality. The most important feature of this printing profile is the surface mode. The surface mode slices the surface into a path and hence almost no retractions are needed. Once we finish the slicing process, we should make sure that there are no unnecessary retractions or travels within the print, which would destroy the print quality. Then we are ready to export it as a G-code and start a printing process. Although I am really passionate about building 3D printed airplanes, I let my friend Sean to do the build video, as he has more experience in this and he is just overall much faster than I would be. Please listen to him. In this video, we're going to be assembling the Falconson 1. To assemble the Falconson 1, we're going to need a file, a Phillips screwdriver, several pairs of pliers, all that required servos are control rods, highest tensile strength filament for reinforcements, several types of super glue, and also spray adhesive, and all your 3D printed parts. We're going to start by cleaning off the pieces, and also prepping our ailerons for function. By doing this, we'll bend the aileron back and forth three to four times and then we'll use a pair of pliers to kind of remove all of these little burrs out of the aileron. So that's one piece ready to go. Repeat for all the ailerons that will bend. Since we're using super glue to put this together, we're gonna have to sand down every edge that is going to be put together. Repeat this for every piece using a file. Make sure that you sand the edges down flat so you don't have any uneven bonding. by assembling the wings of the aircraft. So let's get all the pieces that belong to the wings. So it's better to have a third hand for this process. We're gonna be using the medium viscosity super glue and gluing the wings together. And then we're going to be spraying the adhesive accelerator onto the bond. So go ahead and get your second helper and we'll start assembling the wings. Just on the surface. Not very much. Now that we've finished gluing up the wings, we're going to get the low viscosity super glue and the medium viscosity super glue, and we're going to start gluing together the fuselage. Throughout the fuselage, we're going to use the polycarbonate filament as a reinforcement. So take out some of your polycarbonate filament and get ready to start assembling the fuselage. Um, yeah. We're going to start by gluing the reinforcement uh, polycarbonate into the front of the plane. We're going to put a little bit of the medium viscosity super glue on it and stick it in the hole. And a little bit more glue. Now we're going to take the low viscosity super glue and glue the rod all the way in the tube. Once we have all four rods installed, we're going to slide the second piece of fuselage over the polycarbonate filament rods and glue it in place. We're going to match the rods to the length of the fuselage, so the bottom ones are going to go the full length and stick out these holes, and the top ones need to be cut shorter so they end right about here. We're going to file down the glue joints on the fuselage for extra cosmetic pleasure. Now that we've got the fuselage together, we're going to install the tail. 
To install the tail, we're gonna put super glue of medium strength around this area and slide it into the fuselage. Once we have everything glued together, we're gonna to put the electronics in the point. We're gonna start with the wing servo. We'll need one of our control rods, a servo, and a servo extender. We'll go ahead and attach the extender onto the servo. To fasten this in, we're gonna put a small drop of CA glue on the end of the metal rod. You obviously don't glue it into the aileron or your aileron's not gonna move. So be very careful with this like that, but that's good. You want to apply enough so it can't back out and then immediately put your adhesion like so. And then we're gonna mark where it goes into here. We're going to use our large pliers to grab onto the rod at that exact spot and use our smaller pliers to bend the rod at a 90 degree angle. That's complete. We'll go ahead and take the screw out of our servo. And run our rod through the control point on the aileron. Now once this is complete, we'll cut our rod about here. Now we will install the servos in the fuselage. So now to install our front control rod, we'll remove the top off our servo. Put in the farthest hole, like so. And we will run it through our control rod through the hole. Install it on the servo like so. Make sure the control rod is sticking out of the airplane through this hole. Once that's complete, find out where it hits the uh, rear tail flap and bend it at a 90 degree angle. And, insert. and now put the same drop of super glue on the end and repeat for the other side. Now it's time to put together the rest of the airplane. I didn't show you how to put in the electronics because it really depends on what you want to put in. You don't even have to put in a motor and you could just make this a glider. But here is what we have. Now you're gonna slide this printable flex piece on, which can also be substituted with a rubber band. Now connect your servo extensions together. Insert your carbon rod into the wing assembly. Plug in the other servo. And connect the wings together. Now this is the hard part. You need to make sure that none of the wires are finished and get this flexible piece. Around the wings, and finally, push them the rest of the way together, and lock them. Make sure the wings are all the way slid forward. Now you can install the electronics of your choice. Connect the battery. Install the canopy. Wait 24 hours for all your glue to dry 
and go have fun flying. This has been the assembly video of the Falcon 1. Thank you for watching.